Hello everyone, so in this part uh, I will be explaining about uh, standard normal distribution ok z score charts, uh, but I want you to understand what is a standard normal deviation uh, because you know although as pediatrician we were used to using percentile growth chart uh, you know with our patient, but uh, when you work in the programs uh, or you know when you look at this uh, data you know NFHS4, NFHS5 data they look at how many num how many percentage of children are based basically uh, you know uh, below minus 2 standard deviation, how many children are below minus 2 standard deviation because those are the children who are basically they are uh, underweight, they are stunted, they are wasted you know. So uh, we need to understand this growth chart, Z score growth charts also because it is not taught as part of the curriculum uh, in pediatrics ok. So here it is. Uh, and it is also important for uh, healthcare workers because obviously you know they want to see in the program that how many children are undernourished, how many children are you know all those uh, wasted and stunted. So again uh, let us discuss this chart ok. So this is a bell curve ok, this is your uh, basically your mean ok. Now this is your minus 1 standard deviation, this is a minus 2 standard deviation, this is a minus 3 standard deviation ok. Then you want most of your children to fall between minus 2 to plus 2 standard deviation. So, this is your normal basically curve this most of your children they fall in this uh, in this from plus 2 to minus 2 standard deviation ok. How many percent fall in this? So, look at this are the numbers. So, from minus 1 or say I would say from uh, mean to 1 you have 34.1 percent children fall between 0 to plus 1 and from plus 1 to plus 2 you have 13.6 percent children fall into this are positive. Uh, that means they are they are, they are uh, taller than or they are bigger than your mean average you know. Then these are some children they are below average right. So, below average would be your 34.1 percent children they fall up to like from mean to minus 1 34.1 percent children will fall in that. And then you have uh, some children are even smaller than that. So, you have uh, what between minus 1 to minus 2 standard deviation. So, about 13.6 percent children they fall in this ok from minus 1 to minus 2 ok. But once they start falling below minus 2 standard deviation these are the children that means they are uh, they, they are counted as undernourished uh, you know like uh, moderate malnourished, severe malnourished. So, who are moderate malnourished? The moderately malnourished are the children who are between minus 2 and minus 3 standard deviation ok. These are moderately malnourished and who are the children who are severely malnourished? These are the children who are falling below minus 3 standard deviation ok. So, these children are basically we have to immediately work on the children to get them up you know at least towards the mean. We want to bring them not just not just over here you know you do not want to just bring them over here and leave them you know you want to make sure that they get the full potential. So, our goal is to bring them as close to the mean as possible. So, so there is a long way to go for the child to go from here from minus 2 to mean right and look at this they should be only under minus 2 you need you can have just like maybe 2.1 and maybe 0.1. So, not not much maybe 2 point uh, you know we will we'll, we'll figure out that how, how many children should like you know normally you see in a standard deviation how many children do you see below minus 2 standard deviation. Unfortunately in India this numbers are too high ok. This numbers uh, they are much higher than uh, what it is sh shown over here ok. So, we will talk about that, but remember that half of your children are half of your children are above average ok. Half of your children are above average, half of your children are probably below average ok. So, you want to make sure that you know you do not just stop over here, you try to bring child in the positive growth, this is the positive growth ok. So, try to bring your children more towards plus 1 to plus 2 because those children will uh, if you try to bring them early on say from 0 to 6 months of age this as the weight goes up the length will go up ok and that I will show you some of the growth chart. So, ok this is another one here we have shown all the different standard deviation and we have shown the basically percentile ok. So, look at this uh, your 50 percent children, so your 50 percent children would be on here like you know just below mean and your 50 percent children will be above mean right ok. Now, look at your minus 2 standard deviation ok. So, minus 2 standard deviation uh, basically coincides with 2.3 percent. So, normally only 2.3 percent children should be 
uh, below minus 2 standard deviation only 2.3% children in the world. But in India if you look at the weight 32% children are below minus 2 standard deviation 32% look at the difference between 2.3 to 32. Do you understand what I am saying? Okay. Now, this is below minus 2 standard deviation. So, you can imagine mostly, mostly our children are probably between minus 2 to minus 1, you know. And if some of some of the children may be up, go up to my 0.5, very seldom, uh, you know, breastfed babies I see it over here in a positive uh, growth. I do not see too many children who are between 0 to uh, plus 2 standard deviation. Okay? Uh, but yes, we, we did started seeing once we started using a cross cradle hold, we started seeing ch uh, children basically more in this average, uh, you know, your 50% 50 per 50 in this, this side of the mean rather than this side. Okay? Uh, what is happening right now? When they find children who are below minus 2 standard deviation or even minus 3 standard deviation, uh, healthcare worker try to bring them up little bit you know and then they leave them they try to bring the children up little bit and then they leave them so our children are just falling into this 4.4% uh, children who are who are between minus 2 to 1.5 uh, standard deviation they are just leaving all these children over here our goal is not to keep the children in this uh, uh, section we want to bring our children at least average children should be over here in mean okay the earliest you start better it is okay let us see other chart. Now, this is your weight for age Z score. So, in Z score, see here this is in the form of growth chart. You have mean, okay, you have minus 2 standard deviation, you have minus 3 standard deviation. In, similarly, you have plus 2 standard and plus 3 standard deviation. So, average all your children should fall between 2 to minus 2, 2 to minus 3, okay. If your child fall below minus 2 and it falls between minus 2 to minus 3, that means your children are moderately malnourished. Okay. Now, this is because of weight, it is weight for age, so it will be underweight. So, if your child falls between minus 2 to minus 3, those are moderately underweight and if child falls below minus 3, those are severely underweight. So, those are called SUW and MUW. Okay. So, remember this. So, I want you now to bring your children not just over here, okay, but I want you to bring your children up to mean and maybe above mean. Okay. Try to bring those children up, but with mother's milk and earlier you start, better it is. Okay. Similarly, this is for length. So, again, this is your standard deviation growth chart. You have, uh, you know, five lines in this. Okay. So, your 0 to minus 2 and 0 to plus 2, these are basically children should fall in this from plus 2 to minus 2 and uh, moderately stunted children will fall between minus 2 to minus 3. Remember only 2.2 uh, almost 2 percent children should fall below minus 2 but we have in India we have almost I would say 36 percent children are falling below minus 2 standard deviation instead of only 2 percent we have 36 percent okay and minus 3 below minus 3 is your severe stunting. So, length for age is for stunting. Okay. This is your weight for length chart. Again here in length for eight, uh, weight for length means over here you have a length and over here you have a weight. Okay. So, when you look at the length and weight chart, uh, basically look at this. Uh, this is your SAM and MAM, okay. acute malnutrition, SAM and MAM. So, between minus 2 and minus 3 standard deviation, those are called MAM, moderately acute malnutrition and below minus 3 is your SAM, severe acute malnutrition. Okay. So, this is your SAM and MAM and that is for that is called uh, wasting. Also, we use it weight for length chart. Okay. We have very high number of high percent of children who fall below minus 2 standard deviation and that is a kind of I would say it is an emergency because uh, children when they are malnourished, acutely malnourished that is when they have a high risk of uh, mortality. Okay. All right. Now, this is uh, I want to show you the, what kind of chart we use in ICDS. Okay. So, this is the ICDS chart, this is for boy child, this is for a girl child. Okay. So, in ICDS they have this standard deviation chart. But the way they have painted it, they have painted this green color from mean to minus 2. And my question is that where is the green color from 0 to 2? Because that also children, I mean, I, I, I want 50 percent children to be over here between 0 to 2 percent, 0 to 2 standard deviation. So, we do not have this green zone at all. So, for healthcare workers, if they bring the child in this particular little bit of green zone, they are extremely happy. I want all the children to be above green zone in a white zone. Okay? So, what we can do I am requesting government to kind of fix this growth chart and have green zone from plus 2 to minus 2 standard deviation not uh, we do not want our children to be negative uh, below 0 or below mean. 
ok. So, that is what uh, again our growth charts what we have in ICDS they have only used uh, green zone from minus 2 to 0 this part is completely missing. So, please talk to your local administration and tell them that this is what is missing and we need to fix it ok. Alright, now last two slides and I am done. So, this is a girl child I had shown in one of my presentation earlier. This is a child who is only 6 months old girl child and this is length for age ok. This is a percentile growth chart because this child had beautiful milk transfer in first 6 months look at where the child's length is which is 97 percentile this is 97 percentile only 3 percent children of her age are this tall and she is a tribal child ok. So, you want to add look at the weight that is your 9.42. So, as child was growing beautifully on mother's milk catching up on growth and with full potential the length was growing. So, you this child is definitely going to be very very tall when she grows up ok uh, because genetic kicks in after 5 years of age. So, if you can really focus on mother's milk and complementary food which is high in protein and good fat this children will grow tall. Similarly, this is a boy child even this child look at the length uh, plotted at 97 percentile very tall child ok. So, he is only 6 months old look at the weight 6 month old child weight is 10 kg. Remember the average weight for a boy child I had mentioned about uh, uh, I would say uh, I would say I think 8 kg this child is 10 kg. So, as the weight was high you know you can see the length is high too ok. So, this is the this is what I want to explain to you uh, thank you so much and uh, you know I will uh, I will basically ask you to see two of our tutorials and uh, let me know if you have any questions ok. Thank you so much.